All right, video two of the uh, Dometic 25, 26, 20, 25, 62, something, I don't know. There you go. I should know it by heart. Let me see. 2652. I'm going to show you something. This is the new year. Notice how that's got some of the spray foam on it. I'm going to clean all that up. A lot of people don't do that. All right. That's where this... Uh, thermal thermomastic or heat conductive paste all right i'm gonna put that on there like abundance and here's another thing i did i pre-run the screws all right to make sure everything grabs so i don't have to worry about when i get in there and go oh man it ain't lining up you know um the other thing i want to show you is the propane It, here's the chimney pipe right here. This comes out of your old one. A lot of people don't reach through the top, clean this out because that rust in there. Well, this is a brand new one, so it ain't rusty. All right. That helps keep the heat down there at this part. Now, the two small holes you see here is where the electric goes. Electric heating element, which, heating element, which is seized. Brand new unit. We're going to put this in. Let us set up tonight, all right? So this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. That was a quick video, and that's my dog over there barking. All right, so I'm going to clean the tubes off like I showed you and make them real nice, you know, get all that foam on there because foam is insulator. So a lot of people don't do that. Please take the time to do that, and you'll get a better product. Uh, like I said, pretty that's the LR. LRIM 1200 right there, and they're four door. My freezer gets down to negative 10, and that's on like five out of nine or something. But then again, I'm the guy that pulls it out, cleans it all the time, make sure my baffle's up in there. Yes, I have an external fan kit, and yes, I have an internal fan kit. All right, thank you very much. This is Jeff from RB Diagnostics. Look down below, and you'll see some of the links. Bye bye.